Hi, this is Eric, and we're going to take a look at how to use Audacity, an audio recording program, to record, well, your voice, voices. When you uh, are uh, trying to record a sound to use in a oh, PowerPoint or a notebook file, making an MP3 file is a good idea, and that's best done with Audacity, which can be found in your programs menu. Now, when you start it, you might get this window you can click the little button that says do not show this again at startup and click OK audacious and this is what you're left with audacity is a very simple and also very capable recording device if you're just trying to make some basic recordings the buttons at the top here are really all you need to concern yourself with if you remember old-fashioned tape recorders, uh, you've got a round button to record, a square button to stop, a triangle to play, a pause button, and then forward and backward buttons. Let's just see what you have to do to quick get a recording done. All you're going to do is click record. Hi, this is Eric, and here is my recording. Click the stop, and you can hit play to hear it. So that's it. That's all I have to do. I've got a skip to start, skip to end button, and if I adjust the size of the window, I can see my audio track right here. Now, if I want to uh, take out this audio because, oh, I messed up, I made a, a mistake, there's a little X right here next to the words audio track, and I just click that and it goes away. And I can start from scratch. Let me try it again. Hi, this is Eric, and this is my voice. Hit the stop button. There we go. Okay, so there's my audio track. Now, of course, I want to save this, and I'm going to go to File, but you notice I don't really have a Save As. I do have something that says Export, though. Export is going to be important. So I click Export, and of course, I want to find my H drive space. So my H drive, and maybe I'll have some sounds or something. I'm just going to put it in my music folder and give it a name. Eric's voice. Now, notice that when I typed the title, I didn't use any punctuation and no spaces. Uh, but we're trying to get into that habit of using either no spaces or maybe an underscore symbol, The uh, hold down the shift and hit the underline key to the right of the zero. Because our, our website, Schoolwire's uh, centricity, doesn't like spaces. So if you're ever going to use this on a website, uh, it's good to have no spaces involved. Now, this is where we're going to get uh, the MP3 extension where it says save as type. I want to click that drop down menu and select MP3 files. That's good. And I'm simply going to click save. Now I get a window here that if you're an iPod user, you will recognize the, the uh, terms. If you wanted to eventually have this sound show up on an iPod, you could fill out the artist name track, genre, all that stuff. But we don't need that. So we'll just click OK. Well, that's it. I've got an MP3 file now. And if I needed to, to check that, I could open up my H drive and see what that and see what that uh, looked like. It would look just like an MP3 file. All right, in my music folder. And there it is, Eric's voice, MP3. I even have the extension there. If I want to add that to something, for example, maybe I want to link that to uh, an object in notebook, for example, I can do that. And that's why I'm suggesting using MP3 as the format. Notebook in particular really only likes the MP3 format. So if you have a notebook file uh, that you want to add uh, sound to, or I should say an object in notebook that you want to add the sound to, that's going to be the format that you want. So here's a, a notebook file, and let me bring in uh, an object. Well, here I'm just going to we'll make some smiley faces, a ring of smiley faces there. And I'm going to click on that, click to activate it, click the drop down menu, click sound in this case. Let me browse for the sound I want to play. Remember, I put that in my music folder, Eric's Voice MP3. Now I want to launch the sound by clicking the object. So I'll click OK. And then when someone clicks on the smiley faces, notice that the arrow cursor changes to a hand that's telling me I have a link. And 
And when I click it, I get the recording. I'm not sure you could hear that, but I heard it nicely in my neck of the woods. All right, that's uh, the basics. If you have any questions, please uh, send me an email at eyates at chatham-nj.org, or if you're on first class, Eric Yates. Thanks for listening. Have fun with that.